Today we're doing a quick introduction on Ubuntu 11.04. I've done reviews on version 10, version 9. On Ubuntu.com they pointed out on the surface the few new things that people might notice right off the bat when you log into version 11. Okay, Obviously it's faster, it's slicker, it's smoother, it's compatible with newer hardware, there's been upgrades in the engine behind the scenes, but on the surface, when you first log into it, what's new? Well, the fresh new look, I gotta tell you, is new. So the launcher, the dashboard, accessing your workspaces, all of that has been enhanced. But you still get Firefox installed by default, you still get the Office, the open Office free um, application suite. Uh, you can still access your email on there. It comes with all the necessities that you need in order to get up and running. So go ahead try it out you can install this as an application almost from within windows itself and then uninstall it from within windows okay so it's clean install and removal you can try that or install it separately you can boot it up and uh, install it from a cd and have it dual boot for example okay and um, it will run on a mac also so you can download the mac version if you need to now i've gone ahead and installed it look at it here i changed the background to a nice little blue sky instead but the launcher is still the same. You can see here the shortcuts on the main necessities appear on the left hand side which is very nice and slick. So Firefox like I mentioned comes by default there. The open office applications so like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, the equivalents of those come already installed as well. The uh, software center is there, the Ubuntu One workspace switcher and then whenever you launch applications and things like that they'll appear and you'll see them on there as well and uh, I've got this dual boot with Windows 7 and obviously I can access my Windows 7 drive from here and transfer files back and forth if I need to. The great thing about this is now with this dashboard that I just clicked on here you can add or pin shortcuts there to the dashboard, access, search for applications quickly, easily and uh, it's very slick, smooth, you know, it, it's not re a resource hog. Okay, so that's very nice. That's what I like about these types of operating systems. They're secure. Uh, you're more likely to get viruses on a Windows operating system than on a uh, Unix or Linux or, like I said, on an Ubuntu operating system such as this one. Okay, so as you can see here with the software center, not much has changed. You access your applications that you want to install from here and um, the uh, workspace switcher is very nice so you can have multiple uh, applications running in each window and drag and drop in between them and stuff like that. That really hasn't changed much from uh, previous releases of Ubuntu to be honest. That's still pretty much the same but uh, I do notice that it's slicker. Obviously it supports new hardware. Things are running much better, more stable than ever before and uh, I can't really uh, state that you, you have to try it, right? You just have to try it and see what it's like uh, before you make up your mind and say, nah, this is not for you, right? So uh, if you're skeptical about it, you're not sure, try it out, right? It, it's no harm done. If you install it from within Windows like an application, it will appear dual boot. You'll get a dual boot menu when you first boot up. And uh, later on, if you want to uninstall it, just uninstall it from within Windows and it will remove it, okay? So that's how easy it is. Requirements to install this? Very simple. You know, if it installs on a netbook, it will install on your desktop. Okay, no problem. So don't worry about it, stuff like that. Um, it's slick, smooth interface. I have no issues with that. Something that you got to get uh, used to. But again, if you're used to the top right corner here with the shutdown, the time, the date, the status indicators, you know, like your wireless stuff like that, that really hasn't changed. So uh, again, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you for watching.